Retaliation, a form of expression that many Maryville students have pursued. Why, you may ask? Well, we find that when our freedom of expression is taken away, there is only one option. Of course, we can spot the girls are targeted more than the guys. Another aspect of the dress code is how it affects both male and female students. I believe that guys have an easier time being able to follow the dress code because their clothing style isn't as complex as girls. With female students constantly trying to keep up with the latest trends, it makes it harder for them to choose an outfit that's school appropriate. I feel like the dress code doesn't even affect boys like at all. It's majority pointed towards females because we're the ones who are wearing belly shirts and our shoulders are showing and I mean boys wear ripped jeans but girls mostly wear the ones that are ripped up here because that's what we're being sold. So I think it affects the girls more because I don't think that the boys have much of a dress code except for like no sagging and no hair wear like everyone else and I feel like it affects our personal style. I feel like it affects the girls most because the boys don't really like you know so they body like that for real okay i feel like the dress code applies more so for girls than it does guys because like guys don't really break dress code like that whereas girls we wear more like crop tops and shirts that are off the shoulders and like we wear jeans that are have like holes because that's what people sell to us whereas the guys it's like they can really wear whatever and it doesn't matter as long as they're not sagging their pants which they still do i feel like the dress code affects my style because i wear like more streetwear I'm like baggier clothes depending on the day, how I'm feeling. And I have ripped jeans, belly shirts, you know, sometimes. And then some shirts that I wear have like my shoulders showing. So usually I try not to break the dress code. So I wear like hoodies and stuff. And it's really irritating because sometimes I just want to wear what I want to wear. Dress code, it really doesn't affect my style because like I just comfortable wearing sweatpants, regular jacket and stuff. But it really never, I never really took it that far to get dress coded. Dress code doesn't really affect my style, but it, it does affect my friend's styles because they get dress coded for wearing stuff that they want to. How does it affect your style? It affects your style because you're not able to show who you truly are. It don't affect me at all because I, I wear like a lot of sweaters and stuff. So I like, I don't show my body and I like that. Um, honestly, I just kind of wear whatever because I know like most of the clothes that I do want to wear, I can't wear because I know I'm going to be dress coded for it. So I'm really limited on what I can wear at school like versus outside of school, which is why I don't really express myself so much in school. Because when it's school, I don't really care too much. Well, I believe that every school should enforce a dress code because even I'll admit that some dress can be too inappropriate and could lead to distractions from students of the opposite sex. However, myself and some of my fellow students believe that our school could loosen the restrictions just a little bit and let us express ourselves a little more. Uh, I feel like shoulders should be taken out of dress code because, I mean, it's really not, it's really not that big of a deal. It's a shoulder, I, in my opinion. Um, stomachs, I guess it just depends on how much is being shown. Like if it's all the way up here, I, I feel like that shouldn't be worn, but if it's just like tiny little bit of stomach showing I think that isn't that big of a deal and also rib jeans rib jeans there is nothing wrong about that I don't see anything wrong about that unless you have a, a rip in the back of your pants or something like that I think they should eliminate us wearing hats and do-rags so it did not hurt nobody but then if it goes with the fit it goes with the fit the rule that I wish they would eliminate from dress code is the crop tops and the sleeveless shirts because I just feel like Especially the sleeveless shirts, like, it just doesn't make sense to me. Um, I think they should eliminate leggings and crop tops and stuff because I don't see why it should be a problem to wear. I feel like girls aren't showing too much of their stomach when they have on crop tops. I feel like if girls are showing too much of their stomach where you can see they brought anything and you should send them home, that should not affect the rest of the girls. I think rib jeans should also be eliminated, like to to an extent. Like if you have je like rib jeans in the front, as long as you're not showing anything like that you're wearing under your jeans, I feel like it should be okay. And like you don't have rips in the back, then I think rib jeans should be okay. Especially when it comes to girls, because we, us girls like to express ourselves through our clothing, as well as like our our styles or whatnot. But we can't do that if we have a dress code that's basically telling us you can't wear anything you have in your closet if it shows any type of skin. 
So a dress code rule that I wish Maryville would eliminate is not being able to wear headbands. And what I think Maryville could do to help students express themselves is if the staff and administration became familiar with the trends of today. Finally, there are some teachers that seem to have quite an interesting insight on the dress code from their own perspective. Uh, I think dress code is very important. Uh, we all need to have checks and balances in life and I think definitely just to uh, just I guess to create a sense of comfort across the board I think dress code is absolutely necessary you know just for the instances to prevent bullying even to uh, you know making everyone feel comfortable I, yeah I definitely think dress code is very important so when I was in high school we had a pretty strict uniform code we could only wear your uh, generic white or blue polos you had to wear khaki pants uh, I think after October, you couldn't wear shorts anymore and you had to wear pants. And uh, we all, all of us had to wear a belt. And it's just de definitely different. I would definitely say this one, the dress code here at Maryville High School is a lot better than the one that I had when I was a student in Hammond. But yeah, it's, it's just totally different compared to when I was in school. Now let's get a better perspective on the school's reason for a dress code from Maryville's very own Miss Lily. I feel the dress code is appropriate because if we didn't have some sort of standard for dress, then you would see such a wide array of outfits in this building and I'm sure students would push the limit on what is even imaginable to be worn. You would see all types of outfits in this building. Because um, even with the dress code, you still see some that are not what you would consider appropriate. And so we really, you know, are trying to help students really get into the mindset of what is appropriate to wear in public when you are handling your business. So for me, like going to work, there's a dress standard, but for you as students in a public institution, there should also be some sort of standard. As far as um, considering whether or not we would ever loosen, as you say, the, the dress code, um, the dress code has been in place in its current form for a few decades. And of course, things have changed in terms of what we consider to be modest or decent. Standards of decency have changed over the years. So I'm not opposed to listening to um, feedback or ideas about how to change the, change the dress code, but there needs to be a rationale behind it. Uh, I'm always open to conversation and I really actually do encourage students to use the channels that they have to uh, to have those conversations such as your student government. I know there have been some students I've spoken with. Meet with your student government, your representatives. Actually come up with a proposal. How would you want the dress code to be changed? Now we're open to discussion but have your rationale. As Ms. Lily said, we the students have the power to speak with our student government representatives and propose a change in the dress code. Hopefully students will come together to make the changes happen. Only time will tell. Signing off from PNN, I'm Sarah Villarreal.